dysphoria. They call me Amanda, homie. Panda Manyaka. Panda Manyaka. Amanda the Panda. Panda dysphoria. Amanda the Panda, homie. Hi, my name's Harvey Finkelstein. I'm with Jewish Family Service. What up? What up? It's Garage Jim, homie. And today, look at this, man. What a beautiful day to pump some freaking iron. And thank God. I said that incorrectly, homie. What a beautiful day to thank God. And then pump some iron. God first, homie. I don't know what I was thinking, man. The Panda V1 got to my head. All right, man. Today, we're reviewing Panda and V1 collab. Woo! Uh, Pandemus level three pre-workout. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got con level one content. Homies, <laughs> coming all the dang time for you, man. So click subscribe. And let's get into this, man. God bless all of you, man. I hope you're feeling amazing, living from your heart, staying out of your head. I mean it when I say, man, it's always God first. You know, I sponsor a lot of people through the 12-step program. And if they call me, man, with any kind of problem, whether they're in fear, they're angry, they were selfish, they were dishonest, man, I'm always here. But the first thing I'm gonna ask them is did you call God first? Because a good sponsor will always have people know that it's God first, sponsor second. Don't even call me unless you've called on God because you have the answer deep down in your heart. After you call God, then you got to call me because then you, it gets you away. You talk about it with somebody immediately so you get away from so much self. And uh, that's how you treat this craziness up here, man. Ask God to remove it. Talk about it with someone immediately. Make amends quickly if you've harmed anyone. And then turn your thoughts towards somebody you can help. Let's get down to business, homie. Oh, my God. She's on the pandemus. What are you doing? She's on the pandemus. Are you on the pandemus? Huh? Go get the ball. Go. Go, go, go. My little soccer star. All right, man, we're monkeying around, homie, because we're pandas. V1, God bless them. Panda, God bless them. I'm going to tell you this. I already reviewed their uh, level one. Do not miss that review, man. I'm going to tell you, in my whole career of, uh, and I have quite a resume, homie, of reviewing supplements at this point, that level one is one of my favorite stim-free pre-workouts I've ever used. As far as all-around stim-free pre-workouts, it's it was so freaking enjoyable to use, man. I'm freaking loving it. That boy is a super hitter. So this one right here, I skipped over level two, um, and, I, and I went to level three. I'm going to come back to do level two separately, homie. And uh, I just wanted to get it out of the way. To be honest with you, the reason I did level three, this is how my head works. I said to myself, this has like 500 milligrams of caffeine. I said, I don't really like taking that much caffeine, so let's just get it over with. That was my frame of mind, to be straight with you. I mean, I, I just want to be honest. I wanted to be like, I, I want to just get it done with and review it. And then, you know, this is really good for me at... Uh, a freaking one scoop, to be honest, a sick freaking formula, even at one scoop. I've only taken it at two, but I would come back to this at one. And uh, let's talk about the facts, man. So I'm going to go over the label. I'm going to tell you what I think about the label. Then I'm going to tell you my experience. And then I'm going to let you go about your day, man. So you can go to God uh, and live from the heart and stay out of your dang head. Panda. All right, V1, here we go. Two scoops, 32.2 grams. And I just want to say two level scoops for me was 30 grams, 30 grams. So the scooper is underdosed in my experience. This is what they're giving us. L-citrulline, pure citrulline, 11 grams, which is freaking nuts. Betaine anhydrous, 5 grams. That's for the power output, man. Make you a strong alpha male iron pumper. L-tyrosine, 5 grams. Dude, these dosages are crazy. And you get 20 servings in a container. But this is nuts, man. 
Beta alanine, five grams. I just saw that now, man. I had no idea there was that much beta. Uh, Agmatine sulfate, one gram. Alpha GPC, 600 milligrams, yields 50%. That gets you focused and dialed and thinking about the weights, forgetting about your Tinder dates, homie. Caffeine and hydrous, 350, man. That's a stimulant. That's gonna stimulate, homies. Um, Mucanaparina L-dopa, 100 milligrams. L-theanine, 100 milligrams. So that L-dopa is that feel-good hitter. Then L-theanine, dicaffeine malate, uh, 100 milligrams, which yields 75%. So so far we got a total of 425 milligrams of caffeine. And then ZoomXR extended release. I don't know the yield on that. That's a trademark, ZoomXR. Uh, or it's like a patented ingredient or whatever. I don't know if that yields 100%, 75. So you get somewhere up to close to 500 milligrams of caffeine. It's a freaking lot. Then you got Canna, 50 milligrams, which is a great ingredient, man. I just recently reviewed the uh, the new Hype Sups. Um, the Yolo Dark Side, they use Canna in there. It's just a feel-good ingredient, man. It just... Uh, Every time I use it, I have a, a good feeling, and I assume the canna has something to do with it. Uh, estrogen, 50 milligrams to absorption, and sinephrine hydrochloride, 50 milligrams. So this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this is what I'm going to say about this. This is a freaking loaded pre-workout, man. This boy is freaking loaded. So what I see, what, what it looks like they did was for level one, two, and three, is they pretty much have a base formula that they tweaked and edited for each level. So, I mean, they're all pretty similar levels. The freaking non-stim hitter is so freaking good, dude. Go check my review on that. It is fire. Um, so look, man, the pumps on this, the, this is the whole package. I mean, you get the pumps, the power output, the betas, the focus, the stimulants. So this is like a healthy stim junkie label meaning there's no other stims besides the different kinds of caffeine and the sinephrine. I mean, they didn't even give theobromine in here. Uh, there's no alpha-yo. I noticed Panda doesn't really like to use alpha-yo, even though it puts some freaking hair on your chest, son. All right, man, so this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this is what I'm going to say about this. This was a green apple bubblegum flavor, which was the same as the, uh, the stim-free fire flavor dude just what i would expect out of panda and another really sick tub man i don't want to leave any stone unturned man they're all freaking sick tubs and uh and v1 and v1 really is into flavors too man because i've seen a lot about them and um they take pride in their flavors i mean it's important to them from what i've heard okay man so i, I keep saying panda because panda sent this to me but it's panda and v1 so forgive me v1 god bless your souls and god bless yours homeboy so i took the drink i took the full 32.2 grams put it on the dope scale homie got the exact dosage this is what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this is what i'm gonna say about this man so the the only cons that i'll give you straight man i don't like ingesting much more than 400 milligrams of caffeine Oh, wow. So I ingested the 500 or the 475 or whatever the heck you get with this. Okay, we'll survive. We'll move on. I just want to put it out there, man. I feel guilty when I do it because I'm a supplement reviewer and I really pride myself in keeping my tolerance low. So when I freaking take that much caffeine, I have a guilty feeling. End of story. Let's move forward. This gives you now I'm going to tell you straight the heck up. This boy right here, I didn't know what to expect with the label. When I see that much caffeine and these, you know, the Mucana Purina, very, very solid, positive, mood elevation, head high experience. The physical energy on this is not crazy. This is not what I consider a strong pre-workout. It's a very solid, positive, motivational, feel-good pre-workout with ridiculous freaking pumps. So I take the drink and do like five or six, shoot, five or six minutes later, dude, I feel the betas come in. I told Panda, homie, and V1, I sat him down on my lap. I said, you got to feel the betas, homeboy, to be an alpha. You got to feel the betas to be an alpha. So they gave us freaking five grams, dude. And those five grams kicked the door in quicker than the Santa Monica Police Department, homie, when I had like three porn stars 
and Rob. Rob was on the laptop, dude, jerking off. And the cops freaking, he was methed out. We were all on drugs in, the, in Santa Monica on uh, Pico in 26, and uh, where I used to live. And uh, I, uh, the, the cops kicked in the door and freaking, uh, they said, search warrant. And uh, I talked to Rob later, man, and he thought they said, put down your surfboards. I don't, that's what happens when you're up for freaking days, dude, jerking off on my laptop. You hear things, homie, that weren't there. So the cop said, sir, that's like what happened when we took this, man. I took this hitter, man. I heard surfboards, but the cops kicked the freaking door in, and I felt those betas, homie, and those betas did not play games. They were not monkeying around. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, man. I felt them betas all through my body, and them boys didn't quit for about a half hour. So very well-sourced beta alanine experience. The energy came in about 10 minutes later. I started feeling this awake, alert, nootropic, feel good, head high. But the thing did not really come together, dude, surprisingly, till about 25 minutes. That's when things clicked. And I said, man, there's a really good, I don't know if it's the Kana, the Mucana Perinas, those uh, caffeine mix, the Cinefrin, whatever the heck it was, clicked at 25 minutes exactly, because I looked at the watch, and I just said, there's a healthy, freaking like euphoric head high feeling with this, man. Like a really, really, like I felt really good on their stim free pre-workout, and this had that same kind of feeling except the caffeine amplified it. There's this, this feel good energy. I mean, the nootropic head high is even stronger than the physical energy. There was no, um, you see all this caffeine, there was nothing to be scared of with it. There was no elevated heart rate that was like super apparent. Any elevated heart rate I came from was from my training. Very apparent, dialed in, focused, it's surprise. The reason it's surprising is because you see all this caffeine and you're going to think your heart rate's going to be like that from all the caffeine and stuff. It's a very smooth ride. The star of the show is the nootropic, almost euphoric, healthy head high. I would call this a stim junkie daily. This is not a full on stim junkie pre because it doesn't feel unhealthy. You don't feel, it's not like a drug addict, I'm higher than giraffe vagina. There's just this dialed in freaking head high with it on the healthier side where it feels extremely clean and clear headed. Like almost like you would feel like it has a rot, like a, you would think there's like a hefty dose, like 400 milligrams of aryogenesis. That's how it feels, like a very clear headed, dialed in mood elevation, like your head feels like floating off your chest and you realize you're just floating through your training, man. As I said, there's nothing to be scared of even at the full serving. It doesn't feel like 500 milligrams of caffeine, which is good news. I mean, it might be bad news to you if you want to be running around the gym like a freaking manya a panda maniaco, a man to the panda, panda dysphoria. It's just a positive, motivational, feel good experience without any negative side effects. And I'll say this, the pumps are outrageous on it. I'm talking about the most skin tight, freaking awesome. I think their stim free had better pump, but I have to use this more. I have to use it more for whatever reason. The stim free had just insane pumps. This one was up there with it. This I think this one was was pretty much right there. I mean, the 11 grams of citrulline and everything, whatever, I don't know. The Stim Free might have hit a little better in the pump department, but this gave just insane pumps with this almost teetering on this healthy, clean, euphoric head high. Not a strong pre-workout as far as like Stim Junkie physical energy. It doesn't have like some crazy backbone where you're like, I guess it wakes you... Would I say it wakes you out of the dead? Not really. It's not like a wake you out of the dead, like Alpha Yo Slapper. It doesn't slap you or anything. It kind of comes in just right. 
It's very positive, dude. It's a very good, solid pre-workout if you don't want any... Look, dude, like this is as high as it can get without having the stims like Araya, Alpha Yo, any of that, DMHA, any of that. It's, it's like as high as you can get for not having those ingredients. So they did a really nice job uh, of keeping it like a, like a healthy stim junkie daily kind of experience. Like you could take this... Besides the excessive caffeine, but it is from three sources, like three to four days a week, and you'd be fine. Like, it doesn't have an unhealthy vibe to it. It just has a great, I mean, star of the show. Energized, head high feeling, second star of the show, um, pumps. Pumps are really solid, really vascular, really tight. Third star of the show, physical energy. So those two things come before the physical energy. And uh, that's what you're getting. It's like a nootropic, head high, dialed in, healthy feeling, non-illicit, stim junkie daily, where you don't, where you can cycle off the Araya and Alpha Yo and other kind of stims. That's what I got, man. Have we left no stone unturned? God bless all of you, homies, together. And I'll link below where to get it with a code if you want it. I'm really looking forward to that level two because I kind of like the formula the best out of it. Well, I like the non-stim really a lot, man. That's a crazy non-stim. I like the level two the second best as far as the formula goes because it's the caffeine is in check and you still get all the other ingredients from what I remember. And then the level two, I like formula-wise the last just because of the very high caffeine amount for me. That's what I got, man. Garage Gym Homies, always going to give it to you straight till the end of days. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. But if you didn't freaking like the review, also subscribe to the channel. God bless all of you. I'm out.